Back now on Most Buffalo for a special edition of today's show and such a beautiful day and a beautiful shot of Salem Field on a historic day here in Buffalo for first time in more than 100 years. We got Major League Baseball happening. We got fans in the stands and it's just so wonderful to be able to actually see this stadium, the improvements that have been made and the excited fans that are finally going to be able to watch a game and I'm so excited because you know we like to be up on a roof here at 430 on Most Buffalo and today it's a different roof we got a different guest um, but we're so happy to have Mike Bellani here former VP and GM of the Bisons and a forever enthusiast mm -hmm. of baseball for sure you know one thing I thought that was really interesting is I don't think I realized that originally the idea was always to try to get Major League Baseball to Buffalo how come we haven't been able to do that yet well Absolutely. When uh, Bob Rich purchased the team in 1983 to save professional baseball in Buffalo, um, him and former Mayor Jimmy Griffin, the goal was to build this beautiful ballpark behind us and then use that momentum to bring a major league expansion team or an existing team here. Unfortunately, the economics of baseball um, didn't have it in its cards. and. The opponent of the Jays today, Miami, is one of the teams that uh, was selected. And we know that the Blue Jays won't be here forever. They're visiting us for a little while, but what is the impact of them being here? Not just on uh, Buffalo, but on the on the Bisons as well. Kate, absolutely. This is a dream come true, and this would not have happened if it wasn't for the tremendous relationship that Bob and Mindy Rich, the president of Rich Baseball Operations, Mike Buchkowski, John Dandies and so many others in the organization had with the, Bi the Blue Jays' former president, Paul Beeston, and now Mark Shapiro. That relationship is what brought them here. And of course, we're down here, downtown. It's a beautiful day. How big of a deal is it to have this ballpark right here downtown, to have well, it built right downtown? What I regret most is that Mayor Jimmy Griffin couldn't be sitting in here drinking a beer and enjoying this because this was his dream, to see the waterfront develop, to see, you know, a person like Douglas Jamel and Paul Kolkmeyer next door, and all this happening. So it's happening, he's watching from above, and to see Major League Baseball here, this is just absolutely tremendous. And I just ask the fans that are going to be coming out to games this summer, cheer loudly and make the Jays your team so that we could really get behind them. and watch them get into the playoffs and maybe win the World Series here in Buffalo. I'll put you on the spot one word to describe how you're feeling today. Ecstatic. Well, we're thrilled that you're with us and you're going to be back with us on the town hall as well. So we'll chat more then. Mike Milani, thanks so much for ch chatting with us now. And we've got much more to come here up on the roof with our bird's eye view of the Blue Jays at Salem Field. But right now we're going to get you back to more of the day's news with Kelly.